Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we'll solve a question from the topic of number system and this question has appeared in the BSTAT Honours Admission Test 2011. Now the question is as follows, among all the factors of 4 raised to the power 6 into 6 raised to the power 7 into 21 raised to the power 8, the number of factors which are perfect squares is, now we are provided with 4 options, A 240, B 360, C 400 and D 640. So this further question and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that you have tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to a given question we have to find the number of perfect square factors of 4 raised to the power 6 into 6 raised to the power 7 into 21 raised to the power 8. So this is our given number and we have to find the number of perfect square factors for this given number. Now the first step to find the number of perfect square factors is to prime factorize the given number. Now if you don't know what does prime factorization mean, to prime factorize a number is basically to represent a number as its prime factors form raised to arbitrary powers. So we can say that 4 raised to the power 6 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 6. 6 can be written as 2 into 3 and it is raised to the power 7 and 21 can be broken into 3 into 7 and it is raised to the power 8. So basically we can say that the number is equal to 2 raised to the power 12 into 2 raised to the power 7 into 3 raised to the power 7 into 3 raised to the power 8 into 7 raised to the power 8. Now using the properties of indices, we can say that the final number will be equal to 2 raised to the power 19 into 3 raised to the power 15 into 7 raised to the power 8. So this is our given number in the prime factorized form. And now let's find out the number of perfect square factors for this given number. So we have got the prime factorized form for this given number. And if you are still confused with the prime factorization, then we have made a separate video on this on our channel so you can go watch that video first and then come back to this video. So moving back to our question, now we have to find the number of perfect square factors and the formula is if we have a number of a raised to the power b into c raised to the power d into e raised to the power f then the number of perfect square factors is equal to b by 2 plus 1 in the greatest integer function into d by 2 plus 1 in the greatest integer function into f by 2 plus 1 in the greatest integer function where a, c and e are prime numbers and b, d, f are their respective powers. So we just have to put the numbers in their respective places and we'll get our answer. So putting the numbers, we'll get 19 by 2 plus 1 in the greatest integer function into 15 by 2 plus 1 in the greatest integer function. And lastly, we'll get 8 by 2 plus 1 in the greatest integer function. Now we have to just calculate this value. Now 19 by 2 gives us 9.5 and plus 1 gives 10.5 and the greatest integer value of 10.5 is equal to 10. So our first value is equal to 10. Now moving to the second bracket, 15 by 2 is equal to 7.5 and 7.5 plus 1 gives 8.5 and the greatest integer value of 8.5 is 8. So we'll get 10 into 8 and 8 by 2 plus 1 is equal to 5 in the greatest integer function. So we'll get 10 into 8 into 5 which finally gives us a result as 400. So the number of perfect square factors for a given number is equal to 400 and according to a given option it is option number C. So the final answer is option number C, 400. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,